Hello, it's a beautiful day. I'm just about to start a two day trek across Dartmoor from um, Ivy Bridge, where I am at the moment, to Oakhampton. It should be all through, through the Dartmoor National Park. Let's do this. So far it's been quite a steep climb out of Ivy Bridge, um, haven't really been going very long, I'm already not sure if I'm going the right way, I think so. Um, should be following the two moors path for a while, uh, which is the coast to coast across Devon, it's a route that takes about seven days-ish, um, but I'll just be following it from actually the original point where it started, here in Ivy Bridge, across to the other side of Dartmoor. Quite surprised at how steep it is getting out of here so far. I suppose we're going up onto the moors. So yeah, hopefully I find a, uh, another sign soon that lets me know I'm on the right way. If not, yeah, I do have a map this time and a compass. So a bit of orienteering could be fun. Back on track. And here's Dartmoor. I think this is the route that we're going to follow. I think that's the two moors way that way rather than that way. So, yeah, let's go get lost. Wow, what a view, right out across the sea, towards uh, Plymouth I think, um, I'm way off course but I think if I follow this path here it should take me back round to, towards where I want to be. And uh, you can see back down where, where we came from, just down the path there and then it was along down to Ivy Ridge Centre uh, around the train station. Uh, so now we're going to turn around and follow sort of the ridgeway all the way across, trying to get back onto uh, this green dotted line. Uh, but now I think off towards Butterton Hill, which uh, should be the next ones over. Let's go! Here is the Serengeti of Dartmoor. Um, this is called Blackpool. Uh, which is yeah, a little pool of water. You can see all the animals around it. Sheep, cows, and uh, Dartmoor horses or ponies. Hello sheep. You can see these border stones all the way along the paths up here in, in Dartmoor. Uh, this one's called Long Stone. At the top of Butterton Hill. And uh, again, across to the sea over that way. And it looks like the path we're going to follow is sort of up here. So continuing pretty much north. Back on Two Moors Way, um, which yeah is a proper path, sort of really out in the wilderness here in um, Dartmoor. Like you can be sort of miles and miles from anywhere, which probably meant that I've overpacked a little bit and sort of uh, anxiety packing, making sure I've got lots of food and water. Um, I mean, I've got a quite a big bag, and it's only a couple of days, um, but I've got. 
enough to last me in case I get lost and uh, can't find myself again. Oh, really annoying. I was following the path and it just kind of stopped and turned into like a bog. You can see sort of how wet it is and I found a little spot to sort of perch on that well, I'm not getting completely soaked, but the path just kind of stopped. I know it carries on down till the stream turns up to the left, but yeah, between there and here, I don't know. Might try going up the hill a little bit, see if it's a bit drier. Just got to get it over this first. Oh. Jeez. Oh, I'm feeling a little cross. <laughs> How beautiful is this? Oh. So nice. Oh god, this is a bit challenging. Right. Just uh, get through. Really hard. There's just loads of like little holes that your feet can fall into. Just need to be like constantly ready for it to go up and down. And I uh, hope there's nothing in here to eat you up. Jesus. Okay, well, I'm pretty lost. Can't find the path. Um, but I think there's something up over there. Unless you're on the path, you can't see the path here. It's really difficult. Okay, I'm back on a path. It's not the right path. I think potentially it's Abbott's Way. Um, you can see the reservoir over there. And I think I'm probably meant to be over there somewhere. Um, but this will do. Oh, that's a nice little ponies. Hello. Hello, pony. Um, back on track. This is it. This is where I needed to be. Back on the two moors way. This is mad. They've just got nowhere to go. Or do they? Maybe they can get into the field down here. I hope so. Because I need to get through that gate. Come on sheep. Keep going. Is there a field up there? No, there is. Is there somewhere for them to go? As long as they don't all charge me. Go on, sheep. Go on. Don't you charge me. Go on. Go on. I need to get through. Fuck's sake. Can you just go up? All right, didn't film it because I might have had to run away, but I got past. Look at that, that is pretty good. My first sort of sheep, sheep uh, 
I don't know what the word is. Sheep dogging? Sheep, uh, sheep rounding up experience. Happy with that. Good morning. It's uh, just before 7 a.m. and I'm just packing up the tent now, getting ready to uh, get going. Had it all packed up. Um, just got a cup of hot chocolate there and um, ready to go in a minute. through this field with loads of cows and a big bull um, big bull with like big horns like quite scary uh, he kept kind of walking towards me and I'd walk around him a little bit more um, I don't really know what to do with them I mean if one of them did charge me it's, it's a long way to run um, and they're not slow I'm going off route again um, hopefully this will be okay I've, I've found this path here, which goes through Susan's forest. Oh, these woods are so cool. Look at the um, moss like growing on all the branches, just kind of all the way through. It's really like cool feel. It's much, much colder than it kind of, yeah, was elsewhere. Quite eerie. So I've been going for about Three and a half hours this morning. Yeah, starting to feel it in my legs a bit. Uh, I think probably the sum of like yesterday and today's walking. Looking at the map, I think there's a pub in about two, two and a half kilometers. Yeah, and have a little little rest there. Um, I think I've probably got to do about 30 kilometers today. Yeah, I need to get to Oakhampton to get the train. I, th I think after a little break, should be good. So. Which way to go? Let's guess right. Right is right. Oh. There's the pub. So close. This is good. First customer. Right, back on the road again. My knee is seized up. My legs are aching. Uh, hopefully those will both loosen up as we get going. Really nice pub called the Warren House Inn. Legs are aching, so time for a steep hill. Great. It's fallen over, but still on track.
how cool are these? Look at that. Not going to risk it. Heading back up onto the moors and it's uh, tiring going uphill. That took a long time, but I'm on top of Coston Beacon, 550 metres and yeah, you can see all the way around the moors. Really cool. Really windy and cold and I put my jacket on as well. Um, I think now I need to sort of go in that direction, uh, but I may need to go down that way and then around to, to get there. Stupidly, I tried to go straight instead of taking a path, so now I'm just kind of making my way down through this like heathery moorland oh god which uh, it's really difficult to walk on oh, i'm so tired i've got about two and a half kilometers to go i think that's oakhampton down there i need to go down this way uh, across the river and then go down the river and and off to the to the left yeah just taking an ibuprofen for my knee because that's absolutely gone um just did stop and have a bit of food which has given me some energy just my body is a little bit broken 30 34 kilometers now for the two days 57 for the two days um and yeah so it's probably going to come in at about 60 which is 10k more than i was expecting but yeah almost done and um gonna be walking in the dark again i think it's been great it's been really lovely i think i've gone wrong a lot of times I said let's get lost i got lost i can hear water down here so i think it's it's down that way right yeah last 2k let's go here we are made it to oakhampton station 36 kilometers today 60 kilometers in total absolutely knackered i've kind of done my own route it's not really a route that I don't think too many people will follow and it's been awesome I think it can take a little while for my legs to recover good experience good good to go out there and and do the wild camping it's scary until you do it and then it's fine go out and give it a go make sure you've got enough stuff that, that you're okay in case there's any emergencies chuffed to have done it see you on the next one <laughs>